Cannabis brands are changing things up to stay noticed while we all stay at home. The Last Prisoner Project is partnering up for a new effort to protect inmates. And the latest celebrity brand announcement might make you do a double take. It's Monday, April 27th, and this is your Tricombs Morning Buzz. Broadcasting live from the Tricombs.com studios in Southern California, it's time for your Morning Buzz. We bring you late-breaking news that keeps you up to date with what's happening in the cannabis industry. Cannabis brands are changing tactics to stay top of mind during the pandemic. Many cannabis brands have historically relied on in-store pop-ups and educating bud tenders about their products to reach consumers. But as cannabis customers increasingly order products online for delivery or pickup, and with the expectation that these habits will persist after the coronavirus pandemic is under control, cannabis brands should consider more direct ways to reach their audience to ensure sales stay strong, according to experts. Some brands are already on top of the trend. Particularly around 420 festivities, some of the measures cannabis brands are taking include launching a hashtag campaign on platforms such as Twitter and Instagram, staying active on social media with games, happy hours, questionnaires, and other interactive activities, live streaming content via Facebook, Instagram Live, and Zoom, and exploring digital advertising. Seattle-based branding agency Wick & Mortar CEO Jared Mursky told MJ Biz Daily that brands should view stay-at-home orders as an opportunity to take stock of the company and develop a strategy for promoting the brand. This is definitely a moment when we're slowing down to tackle a big branding project, Mursky said. The best work-from-home project you can do is to make a better version of your brand, he said. The Last Prisoner Project and Forefront Ventures team up to supply disinfectant to prisons. The Last Prisoner Project and Forefront Ventures announced last week that they will partner to provide liquid disinfectant products to low-security prisons to help reduce the spread of coronavirus among nonviolent drug offenders, Benzinga reports. Forefront announced last week that it would dedicate part of its Washington-based production facility to the creation of hand sanitizer some of which would be donated to prisons who need the supplies. The Last Prisoner Project will be in charge of coordinating the donated disinfectants distribution with the Department of Corrections. Forefront CEO Leo Gauntmaker said, The decision was a no-brainer. We don't believe anyone should be incarcerated for a cannabis-related offense, much less during a global pandemic. Inmates face tight living conditions, which allow the coronavirus to range through the population, thus making it a breeding ground for illness, Gauntmaker said in a statement. Canadian CBD maker and conservationist Jane Goodall partnered to support environmental initiatives. A Canada-based CBD manufacturer has entered an exclusive partnership with wildlife conservationist Jane Goodall to co-develop natural health and wellness products that will help support environmental conservation and reforestation initiatives. Neptune Wellness Solutions, Inc., headquartered in Laval, Quebec, will work with Goodall to develop plant-based hand sanitizers, essential oils, and hemp-derived products under the existing Forest Remedies brand. The products will launch this summer. The health of people, animals, and the environment are interconnected. This pandemic demonstrates this, Goodall said in a statement. However, if we all make ethical choices every day, our collective power for change is great. Michael Camarada, CEO of Neptune Wellness Solutions, said, In light of COVID-19, we believe there will be a renewed focus and emphasis on personal self-care, and the purchasing decisions consumers make to support their health and wellness will have a lasting impact on the environment and our collective health and wellness, he said. And that was today's Morning Buzz. Have a response to any of the stories on today's show? Share your comments when you join the conversation with the cannabis community at trichomes.com. Our beta is now open, so be sure to sign up. It's free. And be sure to keep up with us on all social media platforms. You can also subscribe to our podcast and the Tricomes YouTube channel for daily content. My name is Allison Benyehuda. And my name is David Fortin. Take care and stay safe.